Remote Access VPNs allow users to connect to a central site through a secure connection over a TCP or IP connection, such as the internet. We'll talk about how to access your VPN remotely from an Apple laptop on this edition of Tech Talks, next. We'll start by configuring an SSL VPN server on our RV340 router. To do this, let's log into the router and navigate to the SSL VPN under the VPN tab in the menu on the left-hand side. On the SSL VPN page, we'll select on next to Cisco SSL VPN server, then pick which interface we'll use to connect. This is usually the interface connected to your ISP provider. Next, we'll need to choose our port and our client address pool. For this example, I'll keep these at the default options. If you have a domain for your end users, you can copy that into the client domain text box. Otherwise, just leave it blank. Once you're satisfied with your settings, click Apply at the bottom of the page. Now, we'll switch to the Group Policies tab at the top of the page. If you would like to add a new group policy, click Add. In this example, we'll stick to the default policy and click Apply. Next, we'll need to create our users. To do this, we'll navigate to the User Groups page under the System Configuration tab in the menu. For this video, we'll select the Guest Group. To add the SSL VPN policy we just created to the group, We'll click Edit, then select our policy profile from the drop-down menu at the bottom of the page and click Apply. In order to create the accounts for our user group, we'll head to the User Accounts page and click Add under the Local User Membership list. We'll assign the account a username and password, then select our group from the Group drop-down menu. To finish creating the user, click Apply. To save your configurations, click Save in the upper right-hand corner. Now we're ready to switch over to our Apple laptop. Before you can configure remote access on your MacBook, you'll need to first download the AnyConnect client. To do this, you'll need a license. If you don't have one, contact an official Cisco seller for more information. Once you've downloaded AnyConnect, open the program and enter the public IP address of the RV340 router into the VPN box and click Connect. Enter the username and password we configured earlier and hit OK to log in. Click Accept on the welcome banner and you'll be connected to the server. You're all set. You can now connect to your VPN remotely using your Apple laptop. Thanks for watching Tech Talks from Cisco. We'll see you next time.